Now, Pakistan has summoned the Indian envoy over ceasefire incidents along the line of control. Uh, there has been uh, firing along the line of control in the past 24 hours. Uh, Geeta Mohan on the phone line. Take us through the details, Geeta. Well, the Pakistan Foreign Office today summoned the Deputy High Commissioner of India to Islamabad, uh, Mr. Gopal Bagle, uh, to lodge a protest on the ceasefire violations. This, even as India had continued to protest against the ceasefire violation that led to the five Indians, it led to five Indian soldiers having lost their lives, but no response from the Pakistani end. On the, on the, on the other hand, what they continued doing was denying any involvement of the Pakistani army, which was confirmed by the Defense Minister of India on the floor of the House in Parliament. But now what we get to hear is Pakistan is expressing concern and also uh, lodging a protest with India regarding the ceasefire violations that took place at the border. There have been around five ceasefire violations violations only in the recent in only in recent uh, 48 hours and uh, no response from the pakistani end uh, when it came when it comes to the loss of lives of indian soldiers but clearly now pakistan doing a u turn not just doing a u turn but instead of accepting what has happened and what has gone wrong at the border they have gone ahead and blamed india pakistan is now blaming india also not just uh, uh, containing themselves by lodging a protest but also saying that there is negative propaganda and uh, they are uh, 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 in, in, in India, and that India should avoid such a cre uh, creating such an atmosphere and environment uh, which leads to negative propaganda uh, and stalls relations between India and Pakistan. Clearly, that's not the way to go when Pakistan has not even come out and accepted that Pakistani establishment, Pakistani army, is wa was involved in the killing of the five Indian soldiers. Not just a U-turn, but blame game has started between India and Pakistan, and it is in such an atmosphere that some quarters still talk about talks between India and Pakistan, even as sources have told Times now that preliminary talks between India and Pakistan for now have been put on hold. Uh, Pakistan had uh, come out with dates in August, which for now have been put on hold by India. Uh, Geeta, this, uh, this summoning uh, by Pakistan of the Indian envoy, now this clearly puts more pressure as far as the diplomatic situation between India and Pakistan is concerned. This, of course, would escalate tensions between the two countries. Well, uh, tensions have already escalated uh, at, uh, between India and Pakistan, and it, it has almost peaked. The, uh, the Foreign Office did summon the Indian Deputy High Commissioner Gopal Bagle and have raised concerns. Uh, result, uh, 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 have raised concerns all regarding the ceasefire violation at the India-Pakistan border, but clearly no response. Like I've been saying, uh, with regards to what had happened a few days ago with our Indian soldiers, Pakistan has been living in denial with regards to the five Indian soldiers that lost their lives. It did despite the Defense Minister of India confirming that Pakistani army is involved. We also spoke with a few leaders a few days ago. Uh, the Information Minister spoke to us and uh, also the Information Secretary of the PMLN. Uh, there is a huge, uh, there is complete lack of political will when it comes to resolving the matter.